Good morning. It's good to be back with you. Come on with us to Genesis chapter 50. I want to talk about Joseph today. As we continue on talking about heroes of faith, I want to talk about Joseph and I want to talk about him from the perspective of being wronged by family members. Because that is Joseph. His brothers sold him into slavery when he was 17 years old. They come to him after their father, after Jacob has passed. And they ask him in their own way to forgive them. And Joseph, it says at verse 21, it says, And he comforted them and spoke kindly to them. Why did he do that? Why did he not just throw them down in the dungeon and let them, to, let them rot? Um, and what this lesson is, this is a lesson for anyone who's ever, had, who's ever been wronged by family. And when people are in that situation, they need to go back and they need to read how Joseph behaved. And they need to imitate Joseph. And they need to understand why Joseph did what he did. Because the reasons are, the reasons Joseph did what he did was because vengeance belongs to the Lord. Joseph recognized that. Romans says, repay no one evil for evil, but overcome evil with good. Some things are too heavy for us to carry. And grudges are one of those things. Some things, they belong in the Lord's hands. The Lord knows their hearts. The Lord knows whether they're sincere or not. Let the Lord sort it out. As for us, we do good unto all. We even do good unto our enemies. We pray for them. We bless them. We do good unto them. Is what the Lord told, tells us to do. And that's what Joseph did. But also we practice grace. Unmerited favor. Did Joseph's brothers deserve Joseph's favor? Not even remotely. That's why it's called grace. We recognize that God has been gracious to us and we're going to pass it, we're going to pass it on. We're going to be gracious to those around us unmerited favor. Do they deserve it? No. If they deserved it, it wouldn't be grace. But we imitate the Lord. We also practice faith. Joseph recognized God's handiwork in all of this. Sometimes that's easier to do in hindsight, looking backwards rather than actually at the time. But we need to increase our faith and we need, we need to trust the Lord and we need to recognize that God is with us. There's also something to be said about love. Scripture talks about such a thing as natural affection. It talks about in one place that if a man doesn't take care of his own, he's worse than an infidel. In talking about family. And it's just that idea. We're talking about family here. And Joseph, even through everything that had happened, don't you think he still loved his family? Of course he did. All the times. It talks about numerous times where he, where he wept over them. He loved them. We love our family. Um, sometimes folks don't have natural affection, and it's a sad thing. Joseph loved, Joseph loved his brothers. That's why he did what he did. Also, there's something to be said about hope. As Joseph was down in that dungeon, as Joseph even stood before Pharaoh, as Joseph was in Potiphar's house, through every step of the way, how much do you think Joseph thought to himself, I hope to just see my brothers again. I hope to just see my father. And eventually what happened? Well, hope was realized. But that's one reason that we speak comfort. It's because we have hopes of reconciliation. It's a wonderful word and it's a wonderful idea. And it's an idea, uh, frankly, that is at the height of the Lord's goals. Reconciliation. I'll leave you with this. Romans chapter 5. Uh, the Lord loved us while we were still enemies. We love him because he first loved us. We need, to Im we need to imitate the Lord. God bless you. Be a blessing to others. We hope to see you tomorrow morning. Thanks for studying with us.